You talk about helping, um, you know, women get to the six, six figures, right? Yep. So the reason why I'm asking you this specifically is because I would like for you to kind of break down how simple it is to get there, but not how easy it is. Yep. Because I want people to think like, oh, she's saying six figures. I can't get the six figures. It's going to take me a whole year or two to get there. Mm -hmm. um, but like if, if we're doing a math, and if you're breaking down, let's say, let's say just on a PR side, if somebody want to start an agency in terms of like price points and clients, yep. and you were consistent with that same amount of price point and client, yep. um, how many clients would that be? Um, and then how many months would it take? So really- I'm trying to give you all some real game here. So yeah, really when you're building out an agency, whether it's a PR agency or even a digital marketing agency, it should be high ticket. Okay. So high ticket starts at 3,000, Okay. right? So- I mean, math, I did 5K a month. My okay. retainers were 5,000 a month for PR for each particular client. Okay. So, on a monthly basis. All right. right, I'm. Uh, I fancy myself not as a math mathematician, <laughs> but I can count a couple of numbers. <laughs> so um, 5K a month, uh, two people, it's 10K. Yes, 10K. That's 10K times 12. 12. It's six figures. That's six figures. So if you're right now yep. watching and listening and you've been on the fence about whatever agency you want to start, right? And we're talking about social media marketing agency, uh, PR agency, PC. you know, uh, maybe you're going to help people with LinkedIn. But right? branding. Branding, mm -hmm. ads, you know. Uh, maybe you're someone like myself. You want to get into, um, you know, a podcast PR type of agency or something like that. Yep. If you have an offer that is... 5K. At least 5K. And you get two clients a month, so let's say 24 clients. Yep, and that means that they're going to be on a retainer for yeah. six, eight yes. months, yep. 12 months. You, you want to keep them for long term. You can have a six-figure business literally with 24 people. Yep. Now, some of you guys that are watching this, listening to this, might be like, 5K sounds crazy. I can't even get myself to offer $5,000. I'm afraid. They're not going to buy from me. If we simplify that, you mentioned 3000 Right. Yeah, I wouldn't go lower than three. Okay, so three thousand. So three thousand a month for clients is twelve. Yep. And twelve, 12 times, times twelve is one one forty four. It's twenty four. You well, yeah, clients. Yeah. But it's one hundred forty four thousand. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. The numbers is not. <laughs> so whether it's three k four clients a month, five mm -hmm. k two clients a month. You got a six-figure agency. Right there. Between two or four clients. I love the agency approach. So who out there can't get two to four clients? Yeah. So let's talk about your time in PR, uh, marketing. You know, want to talk about your transition. I don't know. If, is this out there yet? Yeah, we can do it. We can All do right. it. Yep. So we're going to talk about, you know, how your business is, is, is evolving. And I'm doing it first here. This is an exclusive. Oh. This is an, ex this is an exclusive, yes. PR, pursuit exclusive. So... <laughs> um, Okay, so you got into the agency. How fast did it take you to get maybe your first two to four clients? Um, and then what, what were some of the hurdles and were you afraid to kind of like pitch your first client or cold call mm -hmm. or was cold DM? What, what was that like? So I will say that my first client was amazing and we are still in communication today. I actually just called him yesterday with another offer. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's an agency life. You want you want to retain clients and have ascension. Yeah. So I will say that, honestly, when I first started with my first client, we were not high ticket and we didn't know. OK, so what so what is not high ticket? Where were you at? Anything less than two thousand dollars. And what were you offering? I think we offer him like eight fifty. Like a month. month? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, what, yeah. like, what was I doing? You I was, was always delivering. You know, I was like 22. I mean, I was got money back then. So you know, thousand dollars client, right? You like, oh, just one client, twelve thousand dollars. Yep, I was oh. living at home still, so yeah. So I will say that um, that's kind of like where we started. Okay. And I kind of got into PR by accident. Yeah. I kind of just got into it, and it was because the business started out as events. So we were planning okay. events for clients. So that's more of a project-based approach. Yeah. And so when that happened, I also was building a career in media because I went to the radio station gotcha. and I okay. interned there and I began to make contacts with journalists. So a few times people reached out to me, asked me to represent them and to do their marketing. And mm. I said, 
I don't, I don't offer that service. Yeah. But when the requests continued to come in, I was like, hmm, Listen, we they, on the sub. They, they got a problem, I got a solution, or I can create a solution. I created the yeah, solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not knowing the value in that service, which is why I started at 850 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that client came to me because they saw me in the community doing my thing. And they said, how many TV stations can you get me on and which TV stations can you get me on? Mm. And I was like, well, this is the list of media I have contacts to. And he's like, I want that one. And it was Fox 29. Mm. And I got him on Fox. It took me two months to get him on Fox. And then he signed his contract. He was like, all right, let's. So as soon as you got him on Fox, then Fox, the Fox money was in your pocket. It was in my pocket. That's, that's so that's how I secured that. So that was, an that was the first A50 client. Yeah, and it took okay. me two months to get that client.